Tonight at 5, Dayton police trying to solve a homicide. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Marsha Baumhart. Tonight, detectives believe the killer strangled the victim. Police found his body late this morning at a van in the 700 block of Ferguson Avenue in Old Dayton View. Megan O'Rourke is live with the Crime Stoppers Alert and our top story. Megan. Right now, officials still aren't releasing the victim's name because they're still trying to notify family. But what we do know is that his body was found around 10 this morning in a van that neighbors say has been abandoned for days. Tucked behind some trees in the back of an empty lot sits a minivan that neighbors noticed a few days ago but didn't think much about. I thought it was like a stolen car because, you know, young guys seem to do that a lot. So that's all I thought it was, a stolen car sitting over there. So you can imagine Nadia Sales' surprise when she looked out her window Wednesday morning and saw Dayton homicide detectives securing the scene. Like I said, it's scary. You got kids over here and next door. And it's so close to my house, and for me not to not even hear nothing, that, that don't make it no better. Police say someone in the neighborhood called in to report the van, which was equipped with a motorized wheelchair, as abandoned. Around 10 o'clock, an officer went to check it out, and that's when the victim's body was discovered on the floor of the vehicle. It does not appear to be a... Uh accidental death or suicide, it does appear to be a homicide. Investigators would not comment on the cause of death, but there were reports the victim had a ligature tied around his neck. Police say they aren't sure if the victim was a registered owner of the van, but the vehicle was not reported stolen. Don't have any idea why it happened or what happened, so it's, it's hard to tell or hard to say what the reasoning behind it. Now police need help answering some of those questions. They're canvassing the neighborhood and talking with residents like Terry Smith, trying to figure out what went wrong and why this man was killed. Things can happen anywhere, you know, I just kind of watch out a little bit. Now, if you have any information that could help investigators solve this case, you should call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.